Welcome back. That cold front that came through late last night certainly packed a punch here in the Twin Tiers. Uh, we looked at some wind gusts as high as 47 miles an hour at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Higher wind gusts up towards Lake Ontario. Rochester coming in with a 63 mile an hour wind gust. Wellsville at 40. Penyon 35 mile an hour gust and Ithaca clocked in at 32 miles an hour. Obviously nothing like the devastation back over the Midwest. That cold front weakened considerably by the time it reached us here in the Twin Tiers. Second cold front to come through tonight with some mixed rain and snow showers in our forecast. Gusty winds not as high as they were last night, but we could see some gusts to around 30 miles an hour overnight and temperatures turning colder overnight tonight and for our Tuesday temperatures not getting out of the 40s in many locations, not out of the 30s in some of the higher elevations. So there's that cold front coming through tonight with a mixed rain and snow showers. Taking a look outside though right now, our Crystal City Sky Cam looking at cloudy skies and some light rain showers just off to your west. And again, they will mix with some snow showers later on tonight. The regional satellite and radar map is showing that cold front about to pass through our viewing area with a round of rain showers, but as you look back towards the west, notice some blue on the map here. The colder temperature settling south and east out of Canada, and that will change some of those rain showers over a few snow showers by daybreak. Accumulations, though, will be minor, a coating in some of the higher elevations by morning, and that's about it. Here's we'll get a closer uh, inspection of our radar map showing Steuben County up towards uh, Yates County. Some light rain showers right now and some of the higher elevations of the western southern tier. We're noticing a little bit of wet snow mixing in, but in most locations at this hour, at least locally, we're just dealing with plain rain. 48 in Elmira, 40 though in Bradford and 36 in Jamestown. So certainly colder temperatures back to the north and west. New York City still at 62 degrees. Weather watchers showing temperatures in the lower 40s at this hour. Eventually overnight tonight though, we settle down to about freezing. 32 our forecast low with some light snow showers and flurries for the first part of our Tuesday. But as high pressure moves in, we'll look for increasing amounts of sunshine. But notice these temperatures struggling just to hit it into the lower 40s for tomorrow afternoon. And it'll still be a bit blustery out there, especially in the morning, calming down a little bit as we go through the afternoon hours as that high pressure starts to build in from the Ohio Valley. Clear skies tomorrow night, cold temperatures down to about 20. But lots of sunshine for midweek. Wednesday looking very nice with temperatures starting to warm up just a bit. Five degree guarantee for today. A little deceptive here because our forecast high of 60 actually occurred, but that was back at midnight. Our forecast for the overnight period tonight, we are looking at some flurries and light snow showers out there mixed with a few rain showers initially this evening as temperatures will slowly be dropping down through the 30s. For the southern tier, mixed rain and snow showers as well. 31 in Corning, 32 your forecast though in Elmira. And for the southern Finger Lakes, Look for some mixed showers as well with temperatures down into the lower 30s. Our seven day forecast showing a dry midweek period Wednesday and Thursday looking pretty good with some warmer temperatures by then. Rain showers Friday and Saturday may mix with some wet snow Saturday night and into Sunday and early next week. Right now we think though the, the, the majority of that precipitation will be falling in the form of rain and then as the colder air wraps in behind the system, it'll change over to a few snow showers. So maybe just allow yourself a couple extra minutes in the morning just in case it's slushy out there. That, for tomorrow morning, just a light coating. I think most of the road should be okay and then we'll kind of fine tune that forecast for you for the end of the week as we progress through All right. the next several days. All right, thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm.